Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to learn four powerful beliefs that can literally triple your feminine magnetism and sense of attractiveness towards men, well, stick around because I'll be sharing with you just that on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be that come today. It's another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super pumped to be sharing with you four powerful beliefs that can triple your feminine magnetism and increase your attractiveness with men. So many human beings focus so much on the tactics. What to say, when to say it, what to text, what to reply, how many days to wait, when, what date, number should you have sex with a guy, all those questions, right? So I think that the tactics and the techniques and the specific logistical elements that take place for you to create an amazing connection with a man are pretty powerful and important and cannot be disregarded. The reason why I focus so much on the energetic stance, the mindset and the heart space that you have to be in to create that is because the woman who's standing behind those techniques, those strategies, those words, those texts matters exponentially more than specifically what you say and what you do. So today, as a tribute to that, I'm gonna be focusing on the beliefs that I encourage you to adopt if you want to be more attractive, more magnetic, and more radiant as a woman. The first one is, I am not my past behavior. Now, you might be thinking, Burn, can you come up with something more sexy than that? Something less boring? The basics are the things that make life work. So I'm gonna start with something super basic, but so necessary. So many women who are focused on the past and will share something with me like, I am a magnet for losers. And they become that behavior that they despise. The moment you become your behavior, you change your identity. So I challenge those women who say, well, I am a magnet for losers or I, I, I'm a lover something or other. Like what I would say is you have attracted guys and not put enough strong enough boundaries or not focus on your intuition. And that has led to you connecting with some douchebags. But that is far from making you a magnet for losers. Okay, so disassociate from your behavior as part of your identity and recognize that when you do that, then you can start fresh when you create a connection with a guy and you're not carrying around years of pain of who you've become as a result of that, but you have a clean slate and the decisions that you're making right now, your current behaviors, your current set of skills and the courage with which you enter a relationship or a connection is the driving force, then you're baggage free. And that's a powerful gift you can share with yourself and with a man. Belief number two that I wanted to adopt, my light is a gift. This is super powerful, any woman to adopt. My light is a gift is powerful because so many women want to do so much and prove so much and make so many things happen. And instead of relaxing into understanding that the biggest gift you offer in the context of creating a spark, a connection, is who you are, is your light, is your radiance, is your smile, is your awesomeness, is your sexiness. It's all of that inner fire. And when you don't adopt this belief that my, that my light is a gift, then you have to compensate by doing a lot of things and by saying a lot of things to a guy unnecessarily. So the my life is a gift is the embodiment of leaning back and knowing that you, who you are, how you show up, is a source of amazing power, insight, inspiration, and uh, force for a man. Number three is imperfect is beautiful. Imperfect is beautiful is the embodiment of my vulnerabilities make me stronger. The more courageous I show up, the more I can share myself in a way that I don't have to be perfect. No man is looking for perfection. And if he's looking for perfection, he's not your guy. But men are looking for someone that can be a sounding board for them, that can be a place for their hearts to be opened. They can be a source of inspiration that can be uh, see them in a way that they haven't been seen before and give them a deeper sense of freedom through love. So imperfect is beautiful, is you recognizing that the moment that you stop trying to be perfect for that guy, 
you can drop from your head to your heart. If you have a, a woman who's trying to be perfect and a guy who's trying to be perfect, you have two human beings in their heart and that doesn't let the hearts connect, that doesn't inspire the man, that will never create devotion, okay? So drop to your heart and know that the more imperfect you are, within reason, of course, you don't just want to like do th weird things and imperfect things to test the man, but when things show up and they will, then he's gonna notice and he's gonna say, you know what? That means I don't have to be perfect either and we can coexist. Number four is self-love is sexy. We think, when you think about sexy, most women think about a perfectly built ass, right? <laughs> or le long legs or a super a six pack in, in a guy or, or herself. Or, uh, and sexy is a bunch of things, but one thing that sexy is definitely is self-love. Self-love is the art of taking care of yourself the art of doing what's healthy, the art of doing what makes you feel happy, the art of forgiving yourself, <laughs> the energetic stance of having compassion instead of blaming yourself for things you did or didn't do, learning from your mistakes. Self-love is incredibly sexy because it allows a man to see more value in you. You are amazingly valuable when you show up with self-hate versus self-love, then that value, there's like a disconnect it's not felt, it's not seen, it doesn't create radiance, it doesn't create that sense of high worthiness in you. So here you have it. Number one, I am not my past behavior. My identity is not defined by my behavior. My identity is defined by who I am, my character. Number two, my light is a gift, the art of leaning back. Number three, imperfect is beautiful. When you're imperfect, you allow him to make mistakes too. And four, self-love is super sexy, okay? If you find this is helpful, useful, insightful, I challenge you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or on a link somewhere on your screen here, you're gonna see a button show up that allows you to sign up to a free webinar I'm hosting that will share with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less, super powerful stuff, and it's absolutely free. If you have any questions for me, place a comment on the video below and I'll reply to you personally or create a video just for you, <laughs> thank you.